Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here and today we're going to be measuring every single kaiju in kaiju universe against the famous meter stick to figure out which of them, I guess, are just like movie accurate sizes just to see necessarily which one is the tallest as well. It's going to be pretty fun. Like why else would this be here if not for this exact purpose? I'm excited. This is going to take a long time for us to walk all these kaiju over here because it's like the very corner of the map. So leave a like on the video and subscribe to reward our countless efforts. All right, so Godzilla 1954 stepping up first, coming out at exactly 50 meters. Well done, little buddy. Like, he looks so small, but 50 meters is freaking huge. All right, up next, we have Shin Stage 2 coming in at what looks like to be a little over 30 meters, right under 40 meters. Well done, little buddy. Tiltachi and Gurus coming in. Looks like, oh, actually, she almost gets up to 50 meters. Wow, this thing's huge. I mean, necessarily when it peeks its head up, but... It still counts. Shin stage three coming in at just under 60 meters. These guys are talking a lot of smack to each other in chat right now. <laughs> oh, poor little Mothra larva, the sausage, barely over 30 meters, well under 40. If she stood up on her back somehow though, she'd be huge. Next we have the squid, which barely makes it above 30 meters as well. Or the cuttlefish, not a squid at all. I feel like Kumunga has gotta be huge, right? She's gotta be. We're about to find out. She is freaking huge. Oh my God, those legs get up to 50 meters. It's all in the legs. If it was just the body, she's under 30, but the legs are huge. Next, we have yours truly, Male Muto, walking up just over 60 meters. That is pretty freaking perfect, because I know for a fact, if you Google it, Male Muto is 60 meters. This gives me faith. It's all super accurate, or at least for the most part. This dude's actually scary big. He's, he's up to 60 meters. That's crazy right there. I never see him on the ground. He's always flying. This is intimidating. Oh, this guy could not be smaller. I thought he was bigger. Under 40 meters, or 40 meters exactly. You're that much smaller than a male Muto. We petite! Godzilla Jr., almost 50 meters tall. Way to go, little buddy. I'm honestly shocked this guy's even this tall right here. I guess that's the Christmas spirit. He's just barely past 30, though. He's actually pretty tiny. Oh, now things are getting freaking huge. I gotta back up a bit. Oh my god, Violante's massive. Getting up past almost 120 meters right there. Almost 130. Man. I, it, it seems so huge now because of all the little ones we just did. I wonder who's bigger. Our old school Mothra barely hits up to 30 with the torso, but the wings push it up to 50, even 60 meters. All right, impressive. Oh, little Mothra because her wings don't flap. She's barely, yeah, she, <laughs> she is so short. Barely even hitting up to 30. If those wings would flap upwards a little bit though, she'd be huge, but they're just not doing it. She's so small. I'm excited to see how tall Manila is. Wow, look at little fella. He's almost hitting 40 meters tall. I'm so proud of him. He's he's getting there. Zombie Gigan's little head spike pushes him up to 70 meters tall. That's impressive right there. It's it's I can smell him from here. Mother long legs actually only hitting 60 meters tall. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense, Skull Island wise, because she wasn't that tall, just a tiny bit taller than Male Muto. It makes sense. Oh my god, Fee Muto just about hits 110 meters. That basically puts her at double Male Muto size. Man, she she runs that relationship. Look at these awesome kaiju in my Discord, just lining up to be scaled out and measured. What amazing people. I don't know why I'm doing th so many thumbs up. I drank a lot of Red Bull. All right, Godzilla 2014 hitting 110 meters barely due to those back spikes. Back spikes really save the day. Look at this little guy marching and he's going to make everyone so proud. He's going to prove to the world how tall he is as a man and as a warrior. Why is he coming at me? Where's he coming? Oh, Wendigo Crawler. I guess that actually makes sense. Crawlers aren't meant to be that big. They only fight like Kid Kong for the most part. About 30 meters. The, the, the spikes almost take her to 40. A 40 meter tall freaking crawler would be terrifying. Oh, look at this guy wearing the big pants in the family. Almost hitting 100 meters tall just because of his big cone head. What a gangster. Godzilla 2019 is a little harder to tell. I feel like he barely breaks over 110 with those back spikes in the far back middle. Once he roars, he passes 120. Almost 130. Wow, that was incredible. That's the strategy right there. Poor regular crawler. Doesn't have doesn't have antlers, so doesn't get much past 30 meters. But still, a 30 meter tall crawler. That's nightmares. Wow, Voodon's actually pretty freaking scary. With those head spikes, she goes up to 90 meters, or he? I don't know what gender it is, but I know it's freaking tall because of those head spikes. I think they've learned once they roar, they get even taller. So now, <laughs> like, we've evolved since the beginning of this video. Almost hit 100 meters right there with the roar. Wow, little Godzilla makes it so easy, just an even 50. Oh, trying to stretch those arms out, but it's not making a difference. Still barely 50. Those arms are tiny, little buddy. <laughs> Okay, this one I feel personally ripped off by. Like, I feel emotionally hurt because I knew it'd be small. Like, this dude barely hit 60 meters. The thing is, Rodan is freaking huge. I am positive. 
to, I once I but look at this guy the amount of reskins every kaiju gets There's no way this guy doesn't have one coming too. and when his reskin comes so oh, he's trying to stand up on his feet <laughs> so he, he, He's a lot taller on his on his feet, which is how yeah, he's about a hundred meters on his feet. That's accurate I don't even care turkey time dude. This turkey Rodan is freaking huge It's almost 90 meters tall. It is about 90 meters tall when it puts his head back <laughs> It's a 90 meter tall giant turkey monster. That's scary Kamakuras hitting 50. Pretty intimidating considering how easy it is to just linger above people and eat them with this thing. If it was any bigger, it'd break the game. Oh, poor Amanda. It's not even the- If there was a length competition, this would be one of the winners. But yeah, only up to about 40 meters. Still is a sea monster though. It's intimidating. All right, so this Rodan coming in at an even 70. A pretty beast size for this creature. If it was any bigger, it also would take over the entire planet. How come Gigan is 80 meters in this, but whenever I see them in this game, I feel like they're tiny. I feel like they're like two feet tall little hug monsters. 80 meters tall? They don't seem 80 meters in this. This is crazy. Lil Kong 2017. This is cool because we get to watch him grow up in front of the in front of the thing. He's about almost 70 meters tall. Wow, that's crazy to think about. 2017 Kong being 10 meters tall than Male Muto. I... It, 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 it starts to get very confusing. I think it gets like a meter higher when he roars, but not much. One day I'll be my deceased father. <laughs> Kairu about 80 meters tall as well. This thing is so gangster. This is a good like symbol of you don't need to be big to be scary. You just need a bunch of weapons. This is where things start to get interesting right here. The big fellas. I wonder if anything's gonna hit 200 meters. Nothing will. Nothing, there's no chance anything's will. All right, 130 meters. I feel like that's about right. I should have Google up next to me, but I'm too lazy for that. I am tallest. Oh man, that's a big claim right there. All right, Kong, get in there. I wonder if he pulls out his ax if it makes him taller. No, there's no way. Okay, he's about 105 meters. Do a roar or something. See if he gets bigger. Oh, 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 he does. He does. He gets a couple meters taller. It's impressive. Time for the fish to step up. A cool... If this thing stood up, if it had better posture, it'd be hitting 80 meters, 100%. All right, 2021. Oh, once he peeks its head, he hits 150. That is so great. I had to park my Muto way over there to keep him safe because <laughs> these are dangerous times. 150, though. That was awesome. Oh, poor Burning. So fierce. So angry. So short. <laughs> Barely hitting 100 meters. Freaking hot as hell, though. Unfortunately, the roar just makes him a little smaller on this one. Not a lot of boosters. It's because he's got no neck. He's got a little sausage neck. Shin Godzilla only hitting about, oh, maybe 110 meters. Wow, next to 2021's roar right there. Oh, I don't know. Hit 130 right there. Still impressive. I guess if we scale it by the tail, though. By the tail, this one goes much, much higher. It goes to about 160, I'd imagine. 170. It's honestly hard to, like, figure because, like, the... How far back and forward it goes. If it was straight up though, this dude would probably hit the freaking top. He'd be hitting 250 or at least like 220. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into the huge ones right here due to that wingspan. The wingspan is what makes all the difference. Whoa, dude. Hit like 210. 210-ish with that wingspan. That's crazy right there. These things are huge. Wings. Burning Biolanti, such a tanky, awesome creature. Just not the tallest one in the mix, but one of the widest, that's for sure. But although, if those little tentacle monsters could stand up, it hits some, it hits some heights. Ooh, even with that roar, it hit like 150, maybe 150-ish, a little over 140. It's just if he had control over these things, man, they'd get so high up there. Ultima. Hitting almost a good 120. Whoa, the tail! The tail makes all the difference! Oh my god! Here we go. Oh my god, does it hit the top? Does it hit 250? <gasps> I think it did, dude. I think it literally just did. Oh my crap, that's crazy. Here we go, man. The moment of truth. 250 meters, the tallest thing in Kaiju universe. Will it hit it? We're about to find out. I'm so excited right now. It's coming! Oh, it well hit it, man. It well hit it. That's incredible. The max height something. All right, this is gonna be a hard one to compete against right here. Monster Zero, wingspan already just kind of hitting 230 without moving. I wonder if when it emotes, if it's gonna hit 250. Nope, only the heads move, not the wings. When this thing gets a remodel though, I'll bet the wings are gonna hit 250, absolutely. I imagine the update's gonna be pretty close too, a couple weeks away, so by the time some of you might be watching this, it might be updated by now, but I don't know. Hope you still appreciate the video. Little jet coming in about 100, a little over. Doing pretty good for like a freaking man-made kaiju crafted thing. This is, 
This is supreme. I don't know if the weapon counts. Because the weapon's an extension of him. So I don't know if it counts as part of his heights, but it, it seems to be hitting about 140, maybe even 150. Frost Godzilla. Oh, the little fella. Only about 110 meters. Oh, we're hitting a little 120 with that forehead right there. That's fancy. Mecha Ghidorah, a pretty well-crafted creature. Its wingspan somewhat impressive, hitting up to about 220 meters, just about almost 230. In fact, nah, we're gonna call it 220. And once again, the wings don't change with the emote, so it's just the head, so still 220 is huge. Nuclear hit about 110, almost 120, about the same height as 2019 and Frost Godzilla, because they're all the same model for the most part, but it's still beautiful. Scylla coming in at a clean about 80 meters, I want to say. Oh, wait, but wait till those hands pick up. When she does her attack, how tall can it get? That's what it really comes down to. It looks like with the claws, they hit about 120. It's pretty big. She's not too impressive, but she's pretty. G-Man really has this turtle max level. That is gangster right there. That is a straight up flex. Coming in at about the same height as a skull crawler, this adorable little fart is not to be underestimated. Maybe a little. I don't know. <laughs> Still cute. Oh, oh, when it stands up, it almost comes on the brink of 50. Not to be underestimated indeed. <laughs> and for the littlest Ghidorah, still a cutie pie though. I'm really mad I used those words. I haven't said cutie pie in a long time. I'm a grown man, but, <laughs> but either way, almost 90 meters tall. Oh, hitting 110 with those wing flaps. He means business. Wait, that's Totachi. She means business. Check out Theo at the max level destroyer. What a gangster whose wingspan seems to be reaching about one for halfway through 140. Pretty big, thank god it's not bigger. It's crazy, guys. Little 2021 Roar or Hollow Earth is taller than this. Yeah, it hit about 140 there with the horn. It's all in the wings, though. The wings are the heights. The horn can do whatever it wants. It's all in the wings. Ready player one coming at at a cool clean almost 90 miles or 90 90 meters not miles <laughs> look at those big feet dude oh in a hundred good for you little fella this little mecha godzilla coming in at oh look at that he's like a good centimeter over 50 meters just about 60 meters tall this dude against male muto in real life would be such an epic fight so this is why these things are always beating the crap out of me. Just off the base, they're almost 130 meters tall. It looks like the head bounces, but when it bounces peak top, it hits almost 130. What a beast, dude. Behemoth coming in at a whopping, ooh. Man, what a beefcake. Imagine all that weight at almost 120 meters tall. Like, just, just on the brink of it. Come on, buddy. It's gonna be the one attack. The one where it, the one where it launches up and just stomps downwards. That's gonna be the one that makes it hit 130. Oh! Oh, it's, it's tusks barely hit 140. I'm counting it. <laughs> Godzilla 2000, whose tail isn't loading in for me for some reason. That looks super freaky. Oh, little guy is barely, oh, he's about 80 meters tall. It's a, good, it's a good size, you know, it's a good size for a little kaiju. A little fierce fart. It's cause he's got a stubby little neck like the other ones. They don't get very tall. Look at this guy, max level as well. Just about, oh, oh, gets a little over 100 meters. We have another classic case of no neck, so it's not gonna get much taller, but that beefcake doesn't need to get any taller. Oh, so close to 120, right on the brink. And last but not least on this list of way more kaiju than I expected. This is like a half hour video right here. Freaking insane. We got Final Wars Godzilla stepping up, who, due to that long neck, is gonna be huge. And last but not least, we have Final Wars Godzilla, who makes it to almost 100 meters. I imagine it would be a little taller if Kong wasn't on it. No, I don't think it holds him down like that. It would be crazy, though, right? <laughs> I, this, this Godzilla would be so much taller if it would just fix its posture a little bit. All right, well, this was freaking crazy. There's so many kaiju. Oh, my God. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much to Tachi, uh, Theo, Razor, G-Man, Santa Claus, and anyone else I'm forgetting for helping out because this was, this was a lot. But, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.